Hello and welcome to my follow-up review. This is take two. I had take one up and um, I don't usually let uh, commenters get to me too much because you can't please everybody. Uh, however, I did make a mistake in my video and uh, rather than go back and try and edit it because all these are done by one takes, uh, I decided to go ahead and just pull it down, redo it, and address a few things that were pointed out. Um, so here we are, we're looking at uh, my model number here, this is the AT&T variant, and it is running uh, Clean ROM version 1.1. There has not been a uh, new released version of this ROM as of this date, so this is it. This is, what this is what I have been using for an extended period of time, and I will be flashing other custom ROMs to bring you some more videos, so please bear with me. I'm waiting for a particular ROM in the unified thread uh, to be updated with the AT&T GPS fixes before I flash it, and I will be taking that out for a spin. So. Here we go, let's dive in. This ROM was brought to us by a very talented developer who's well known in communities where he doesn't even have the device that he develops for, and um, his name is Crosler. And I hope I got your name right, man. Uh, real cool guy, uh, very active in his forms, and he's just super, super knowledgeable and, and, and wants to help. So he does seem to be uh, very active in his forms and um, very attentive to what people are uh, talking about. And of course, he also recognizes that you can't please everybody. But uh, you know, this is a great source to build from. This is a great source to use in day-to-day -day activity over what stock offers you. Uh, you'll see here I am running the material theme. It finally released into the U.S. or at least in my U.S. themes uh, location. I must have checked for a whole day and a half before I could get it. And uh, I like it. I mean, it's nice. It's a uh, the more pleasing to my eye than the TouchWiz. Uh, as you can see here, because this is based on the AT&T version of the software, it is laid out as such, and certain things like the ability to disable the persistent Wi-Fi notification are missing. However, there are hacks. There are ways to fix that, uh, and I will include a link to those below. Okay, so we're going to dive into the battery life of this ROM, and then we will touch real quick on a benchmark. So here we go. Here's the battery life. This is on stock. Okay, so um, here we go. One hour, 49 minutes of screen on time. I still had 55 minutes of battery, or 55% battery life left. So that's a little over three hours under four. Uh, I'm sorry, over three hours uh, under four. So not bad. Kind of go through here. Now here we are on this ROM. Now this is from start to finish. So it settles and I go in and start killing other processes that are running in the background trying to uh, really get this down, start greenifying things. Um, kind of get an idea of how to keep the battery life uh, pretty good on this, on this particular ROM, on this particular phone in general period uh, with TouchWiz. So we're at 7% here, 3 hours, 18 minutes screen on time all right 50 percent left two hours and nine minutes so that's easily a four hour day depending on how I was using it you can see I was using it pretty hard there towards the end of that screen capture here we go this is better battery stats uh, going through here you'll see uh, two hours and nine minutes of screen on time at 50 percent left so again and that goes back to what I just showed you earlier so going through two hours 38 minutes Again, you'll see two hours and 30 minutes. You can actually see how long the phone was awake, how long the phone was in deep sleep, and the total time unplugged there. These are some of the wake clocks I experienced. Kind of just keep going through. Three hours, 33 minutes, 5% left. But uh, you can see there was some definitely some heavy usage here and towards here. There's a lot of gaming, uh, Clash of Clans, that kind of stuff. And going through here, three hours, 33 minutes, seven hours of awake time, seven hours deep sleep time. So about half and half. And again, here are your wake clocks. Pretty consistent. One thing I want to point out here is that better battery stats, for whatever reason, at least on the version that I have, when I tested this, um, don't get freaked out when it only shows you 1.5 gigahertz. It's only showing you the A53, uh, yes, the A53 cores, not the A57s. So uh, it's going to show you that the max clock on those is 1.5 gigahertz. Interestingly enough, they live most of their life right down here. Um, there we go. You can see they live most of their life down here, one point. 3 gigahertz, keep going down, yet 39 minutes here, so they, they they vary, you got 14 minutes here at the peak, not bad for the low power cores. 
uh, three hours and 57 minutes of screen on time. So right there, we're at four, almost four hours. We still have 14% battery life left. And just to recap, you can see again, that's me killing the battery, uh, playing games toward the end. Um, there's my wake locks. And as you can see, the wake locks are pretty consistent. You're going to see about the same thing every time. And I do use my phone to stream Google Play Music a lot. So that's what that you'll see on there, two hours, 44 minutes. Another one, you got 33% left, 2 hours, 47 minutes. So, I mean, pretty consistent here. Uh, 4 hours of screen on time is about what you should expect with this ROM, the way I use this ROM. Um, I haven't been able to really break that 4-hour barrier. So, as you can see here, I started a benchmark program here. This is N22 version 5.7.164 bit. Um, and while that's going, I'm talking about the day-to-day -day performance of this particular ROM, clean ROM. Um, First of all, as pointed out by the developer of this ROM, uh, Crosler, obviously I have applications loaded on this ROM. This isn't a benchmark being connected from a fresh install after it's had time to set in because, let's face it, we're using our devices. So uh, my benchmark results might not reflect the same benchmark results that you have, but you can obviously uh, get a good idea, though, based on my other videos uh, on what to expect from Antutu. And, and how it rates and compares to other devices because I'm using them the similar way. I'm not changing the way I use my uh, Galaxy S6 from the way that I use my LG G2. The only thing that changes obviously is the software, but the applications that are on it and the number of <clears throat> email accounts, etc., background applications, those are all pretty much the same. Uh, and I have done some work as far as uh, disabling uh, other applications that were left on uh, by default and I understand why they were left on, but just be aware that you can still uh, take it down even further as far as the debloating goes. I can honestly say that in my experience day to day, I found the ROM did have a, a difference, a perceivable difference in lag, uh, both from typing on the keyboard um, to just scrolling through Facebook or through TapTalk, which TapTalk for me usually is the one place where I will always get that scroll lag. Um, even scrolling through Twitter, uh, no problems at all. It's nice and smooth. Um, and honestly, it only happened a few times using stock, so I can't even say it's a persistent problem. It's just something that I've seen. And here we are. This is about average. I have reached 70,000 before, but 69,523. So that's something to compare. And we'll go to details over here so you can get a good idea of what we got. Um, I'm not going to repeat the numbers because you can see them on camera. Real quick, we're going to do our power on test to time it. And while it's going to talk about the ROM, I do recommend it. It is great. It has been a very pleasant experience for me. Aside from the few crashes I had in the very beginning when I was installing applications because I wasn't using the uh, TouchWiz launcher, which I've narrowed that down to. I haven't had any crashes since. Uh, once the phone settles down, battery life gets better. And there you go. It's consistently around 21 seconds for the boot time. Um, great ROM. Thank you so much. And I think there's been mention in the forums about him producing an even more de-bloated ROM. So I look forward to seeing that as well. Hope you uh, found this video useful.